Some stars' explosions are so incredibly powerful that they are equal to billions of explosions of atomic bombs. This is called a supernova, which is a violent yet beautiful explosion in space when a massive star, much larger than our sun, reaches the end of its life. It's important to learn about this because it gives us insight into large star evolution and the age of the universe. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to simulate a supernova using a tool called a Universe Sandbox, which allows you to simulate anything in space. By the end of the demonstration, you'll be able to understand how large stars explode and how to simulate them for yourself. So the first thing that you want to do when you open up Universe Sandbox is you want to click the top left of the screen, the three lines. Then you want to click New Empty Simulation. Then what you want to do is go to the bottom of the screen and click the plus button. You can add a star. So you can click anywhere on the screen and your star will be added. I already have a star in planets, so I'm going to delete this. So you go to the bottom right and you can click the delete right here and you click on them to delete. And you can use this for any mistakes you make. So I have my solar system and five planets, and if we zoom into the star named Rabi, we can see that the star is 10 times the mass of our sun and six times the radius of our sun. Then we can go into the composition tab. Stars undergo a process of nuclear fusion, which fuses lighter elements to heavier elements. So as we can see right here, it's just hydrogen. But if we go to materials, we can soon see that the star will start to fuse heavier elements like helium, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and then iron. Now, it's time for us to speed up time. So we can do this by going to the bottom of the screen and clicking this forward button, holding it down. So as a star fuses elements from light to heavy, it gets bigger. And we will represent this by increasing its mass. So we can drag the slider over here and you can see the mass is increasing. The star also gets hotter and hotter, so we can go to surface temperature and increase this as well. Eventually, the star runs out of elements to fuse and gets unstable, causing it to collapse. Now, according to the famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, large stars collapse within seconds. This was explained in a supernova episode in his show Cosmos. Once the star collapses, it explodes into a supernova almost instantly. Now let's slow down time by clicking the slow down time button right here on the bottom of the screen. And the way we will represent this collapse and explode of the star, down by the bottom right, we click tools, and then we click explode, and then we click over the sun once the star explodes, it turns into a cloud of expanding gas and dust, called a supernova. But if we pause time and zoom in, we can see that Rabi is still there. It has turned into a black hole because the core of the star was so massive that gravity overwhelmed all forces resisting collapse. And this black hole has such strong gravity that nothing can escape it, and it bends light. And if we zoom out, we can see that the planets have burned up or have been launched in random directions. We have learned how to simulate the process of how large stars explode into supernova at the end of their life using Universe Sandbox. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, I encourage you to use Universe Sandbox as you can really understand how these cosmic events shape the universe.